Okay, I'm doing final docket video for the Ording driveway. This is uh, up on the buttes, or actually in front of the buttes. That's the buttes there. Up at the top there is Diamond Head. There's a the private gate. The code is key, key, 2356. The gate code at the bottom of the hill is pound, What is the one now? 8805. So the, the gate code at the bottom of the hill is pound 8805. And then the private gate here at Diamond Head is the key button. So you go key, key, 2356. All right, so you come down the hill, you can see we've got room here for staging here at the top of the hill. All right. I sprayed in where we need to saw cut. We're gonna leave this existing asphalt here so it doesn't interfere with the neighbor. Saw cut that crack out of there. We're going out 18 feet all the way down until we get past this greenhouse. There's a light pole down there and it'll transition down to 12 feet wide. But this is 18 feet, okay? So 18 feet wide, there's already crushed rock here. There's gonna be a little bit of grading involved um, not much. We'll have to do a little bit along this side of the hill because it kind of slopes upward from the existing crushed rock up to the white line. All the way up to here. Just a little bit. Okay. But we don't have to do much grading because we don't mind if the water drains this way. If it has to, it's okay. Okay. Over here, this is something that Dan and I talked to the customer about. And that is whether or not we could do like a five foot by like 15 foot uh, asphalt pad here for their trash cans, instead of putting them up there, they put them right here. That would be for three different houses here. If we don't have enough mix to do 15 feet, then let's try to do 10 feet. And if we can't do 10 feet, then so be it. But this would be the last thing that we would add on here is this little trash pad, okay? So I've sprayed in the white line here going down the hill you got a pretty good steep grade right about this point where i'm at by the way there's an area right here where this truck might not be here when we come up here but this is a spot we could park i've sprayed in 18 feet though it goes right along the hillside here okay at that 18 feet so some of this crushed rock there's a decent amount of it here and it's over an inch I think it's like inch and a quarter or inch and a half maybe it's inch and a quarter that we might be using to spread on this any excess rock that we have can go along the hillside here or down at uh, the house that's on the farthest end here okay so um, this second house is my parents house so they'll be uh, available to answer questions and whatnot okay this is a new neighbor here I want this asphalt to come down and you can see right in here this is the 18 foot mark right here originally i was thinking it was going to come in quite a ways but it's not what we want to do is when we get down here on this 18 foot mark we want to try to widen out this little curve here make a a wide radius so that way when this car is pulling out of its driveway it can make this turn out a little bit wider it's it's almost right out that 18 feet anyways but as much as possible you can see the tire marks as they come out of here they try to make this curve and sometimes it's a little tight we're going to make it 18 feet wide which is going to help them out tremendously so we might not have to do much to it but i kind of sprayed in um where it would bulb out there and then as you get down here past our house this is when we start to transition right at about this tree It'll start transitioning to where when we, we follow this rock line here, we'll just keep in line with this line here. And we'll go all the way down. We'll butt this asphalt up to this hillside as close as possible. So we want to make it nice and tight to the hill. And then off of this driveway here, this is where we start to transition to 12 foot wide. Okay. So... It's going to be really tight right in here, so we might have to push this asphalt out just a little bit past this rock. 
it's okay if uh, the slope goes down into the into the shrubs um, as far as water flow. Um, when the water comes down this hill, it pretty much stays in the middle of the road until you get down to where it meets the existing asphalt. And then it starts to slope to the right or starts falling to the right. And then the water heads down over into that corner. So here, in order to make this 12 foot wide, we'll be digging into this bark here just a little bit, but let's try not to do too much of it on the bark. If we got to push a little bit off to the left, let's do it. And then if we have to go a little bit wider than the rock and get it closer to the edge of the shrubs here, that's okay. We can do that. As you can see down here, that's 12 feet where the asphalt is to there. Okay, and we'll have to go about 10 feet back from this asphalt and uh, dig it down so that way we can bring that asphalt right down so that it's flush with the existing asphalt. Okay, so then you come down the hill, you've got these two repairs. You've got the one by one, it's a little bit bigger than one by one, it's more like two by two. And then you've got that 10 by 10 repair right there. Then if you go across and down to, this is my, actually my uncle's house. If you come down to my uncle's, you'll see the other repairs. We've got the 11 by 10 where that puddle is right there. Okay. You can see the water comes from the corner of the house, off the downspout, pops out, drains down this direction, sits in this low spot until it fills up and then finally goes that direction. So we're wanting to fix this area right here, try to raise that up just a little bit, try not to get the water to stop right there. We want it to continue flowing that direction, okay? Without there being a puddle like that. And then this is the, uh, the 38 by 10. I sprayed it in. You'll see I sprayed in the line just to the left of where this existing round pipe was. It used to be a basketball hoop uh, post right there comes down out 10 10 feet angles out and then goes to the corner there take out all that asphalt go in front of this and then right here get this area removed saw cut that right there take this out put asphalt in and what we're trying to do is we might have to create a little bit of a a berm here a high spot so that way when the water comes down it stays off of this concrete and then it will travel down this way. What they were getting was water traveling up and over and into his shop. And so he had to put a drain. What we want to do is try to take this out since it's damaged and there's tree roots there, put new asphalt in there, make sure that uh, water doesn't flow up and over onto that concrete. So we want to make sure it's kind of a, that we, we could start high there but let's just try to create some sort of channel a little bit that keeps that water flowing out in front of the shop and then ultimately going off into the corner. This corner back here, by the way, when we break up this asphalt, if we can break it up into small chunks, hopefully, we can take it off over here to the side of the hill and we can dump it. We can just dump it right down into this hole here. All right. My parents have been doing it for years. All that used to not be there. So we can just dump it right over the side of the hill here. All that asphalt, okay? So all that can go off over the side of the hill. Um, any extra gravel we take off the hill for grading, we can bring some of that crushed rock right down in here, put it right on the side of his yard, okay? We can cover that asphalt if we want to, but we can throw some of that crushed rock over there if we need to. We're gonna use some of that crushed rock down here too to fill in this hole. And we might have to use it along this repair as well. So keep in mind that crushed rock that we're gonna be grading and taking off up on the hill. We wanna use whatever we need to down here first. And then whatever's excess, you know, they can use it up on the, the neighbor's little drive up there where the dump truck is, put on the side.